Welcome back to The Human Perspective. This week we're celebrating International Week of the Deaf, an initiative of the World Federation of the Deaf. In honor of this week, I have the pleasure to introduce Leia Katz Hernandez. I have Thank known you. Leia and her family for many years. I've watched her grow up to become an accomplished leader. Leia most recently worked for the Obama administration, first working in the office of the First Lady Michelle Obama, and then as the highly visible receptionist of the United States for President Obama, otherwise known as ROTUS. She skillfully welcomed world leaders to the West Wing while simultaneously urging equal access for deaf people and disability and the Latina communities. Today, she is a speaker, an author, and is an advisor with the Mitsubishi Electric America Foundation Advisory Committee. She uses her expertise to advocate for equality all over the world with a focus on supporting marginalized communities, including those who are deaf and have other disabilities. For our audience to know, uh, we have a sign language interpreter off camera to translate between spoken English and American Sign Language. Welcome, Leah. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> um, so, Leah, tell me, why is Deaf Awareness Week so important around the world? First of all, I'm deaf. I was born deaf. I grew up very lucky with American Sign Language from my mother, who is also deaf. And I was also very fortunate to be involved uh, in many ways uh, in the deaf community and have access with, to education and to have several hu civil human rights, which is what you fought for. And the fight is not over. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do, and there are many parts of the world that don't have civil rights. And deaf people all over the world continue to fight for that. So there's many areas of the world where deaf people don't uh, haven't reached the same level level of civil human rights and civil equality. And so some deaf people are not even recognized as a civil human being. And so the World Federation for the Deaf uh, came up with this International Week for the Deaf to promote and campaign the accomplishments um, that deaf people have done and the deaf community has done as a group. And we have a heritage, we have a culture and, a, and languages and to promote us positively. And so to help other hearing people understand um, the community. And so that's what uh, the, the campaign is about. And also to help deaf people learn about what other deaf people around the world are doing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So for many people, deafness carries a stigma. And did you feel that when you were growing up, did you feel that deafness was a stigma? That's a very important question. Thank you. It's true, yes. In the USA and outside of the USA, the view of deafness is uh, pitiful and very sad. But really people have a, a different view, a different perspective uh, coming from the hearing, the, the non-disabled perspective, the hearing perspective. So being deaf is what they think about what, can't, what pe deaf people can't do. Can't, can't, can't. There's a whole list of things that deaf people can't do. No, not really. They have to completely have a have a paradigm shift and think about what deaf people can do, and they have done so many things. So I think it's uh, important to focus on that side. Yes, I do think that there is a stigma um, that deaf people are fighting uh, for, and we we have been fighting for. But there's a uh, there are positives. It's a beautiful language, a beautiful history. And our contributions to society and to the world um, wouldn't be the same without deaf people. So we have to continue to cherish and value deaf people in the language. So why do you think sign language is so important? ASL is very important because it's a visual language. It's a unique way of communicating and understanding the world. Deaf people um, in the brain, um, ASL is used in the same side of the brain that English is, or other spoken languages. So really, it's, there's no difference. It is a language. The only difference is the visual aspect. So deaf people and hearing people can use sign language, no problem. So it's really good all around for everybody. 
and people with low vision or who are blind can use tactile American Sign Language. But uh, this, but the stigma is that it is limiting, and it really is not. The truth is that sign language is opening up more opportunities for everybody. And I have a funny story. And when I was going to camp when I was younger, there were a number of deaf children at the camp, and there was a speech therapist at the camp, and my deaf. Uh, friends were teaching me sign language and the speech therapist said I shouldn't learn sign language because then the, the deaf campers were not going to learn how to communicate and we all thought that was ridiculous so they kept teaching me sign language because it was the way that we could communicate most effectively okay so um, yeah there's a big misunderstanding that sign language is limiting but really it gives more opportunities. Yeah, and it's a different language, but it's like all languages are different. And I think sign language is a really beautiful language. And I think what's yes. wonderful now about sign language is that it's becoming, like in the United States, it's the most prominent language that college students are learning. And more and more universities are accepting sign language as an official language. And in many countries, sign language is now one of the official languages. You know, in September, Time Magazine published a special edition called First Firsts, Women Who Are Changing the World. As the first deaf receptionist and a Latina woman, what lessons have you learned and how do you bring these lessons to other countries? Really, I think that it was a really big honor to see everything right up front in that seat, uh, to see so many things changed in our history and in the world and for the better. And even though we've had some bumps and um, some twists and turns, really it was definitely, there were a lot of changes that were happening um, in really a progressive way. So me as a deaf person, I was meeting so many people who've never even met a deaf person. And so it, it forced them to open up their mind and, and um, forced them to work with me and to be flexible. And so that's a message that I'm trying to bring out into the world, that, people, that deaf people are ready for you. We, and people in general, all people with disabilities and other people in general are willing to work and willing to work with you. And um, we're brave and we're ready to get out there and to be involved, uh, be involved in new spaces and work with new people and work in new topics um, and to stay out of our com comfort zones because staying in the comfort zones um, is limiting. Did you have a sign language interpreter when you worked at the White House? Yes, I did. I had sign language interpreters in the West Wing because my job required me to interact with people every day. So it, it was a requirement that I had communication access. But earlier in my career, um, I didn't always have interpreters 100% of the time because a lot of times I was working on a computer all day. So I don't need, um, so I can communicate through email or instant messaging. Um, so technology is really cool in that way that it gives me communication access in different ways. I think that's a great answer because it allows people to understand the, the breadth of uh, approaches that are out there to be able to have effective communication sign language interpreter being available when you need that person is important. Also having appropriate technology. So Leah, as we come to the end of this interview, what is your message to our audience? Really, I'm very fortunate. I've traveled the world, um, met several different deaf people in different countries and learned different sign languages. And, and deaf people have a lot in common all over the world. And of course we have many differences. But really I wanna let you know that it's very important to just keep on going and to work hard and study hard. Education is key for success. To be brave and don't hold back. And I wanna really emphasize the last part that Leah said, which is education. There are still thousands of deaf children around the, around the world who are receiving no education. It's not that they're not capable of learning, it's they're not considered to be able to learn. So one of the messages for you all to take away is deaf people like the other disabled people and people in general, with appropriate educations, we can all achieve more. So I'd like to thank all of you for 
being with us today and for joining us with this discussion. And I encourage you to continue the discussion in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Human Perspective, and hit the like and share button on this video. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to having our next discussion and happy deaf awareness. Happy deaf awareness. <laughs>